Hi guys, this is Cayetana Martinez, UQ Ventures Programs Designer and today in this part 2 of this short video series I'm talking about how to build a story that connects. If you didn't watch part 1, go back and watch it, that's about on how to build a pitch about your business idea. So here what we're going to focus on is on how to design a nice flow and to create a story around it. So it attracts people and it's engaging and attractive. So for this, we are going to use a tool called Storytelling Canvas. As you can see, this tool is quite similar to the business model canvas. And the idea is to have, again, a framework to organize your thoughts in a way that makes sense, that is engaging, but also that is structured. So even if when you deliver your pitch, it seems very unnatural, very organic, it seems unprepared, there is a lovely structure behind it that allows you to put your ideas in place. So what you can see here is an eight block canvas. We always start with the three at the top, so you always have to think about what's your subject, what are you talking about, what's your, either your business idea or your project, what's the goal, that is what you want to achieve with your story, and who is your audience, who are you pitching to. And that's quite important because, as we do remember from the other video, it's very, very key that you always deliver a call to action something that you want your audience to do or to engage with. And if you don't have a clear understanding of who is your audience, you can always send me messages so you can deliver a messy and clear message. So always make sure that you understand who is your audience. If you have different audiences, imagine you are an entrepreneur and you have your clients, your investors and your partners, you need a different storytelling canvas per each audience. Okay, So one storytelling canvas per each audience. Then at the five um, the five top bottom blocks are about how to structure your pitch from before to after. So what do you need to prepare before you deliver your pitch? What are gonna be the first few sentences to set up the scene to create a climax, then bang your point, your aha moment, the key message of your pitch has to go in the middle, and then the conclusion that is the call to action that we just talked about. There you also have to repeat the key message that you've been talking about through the pitch. So remember that you have a punchy wrap-up, couple of sentences, plus the call to action that you want your audience to engage with. And the after is basically something you have to think about throughout the whole pitch and is what do you want your audience to think and feel about you once you leave the scene, okay? So you have to do one of these per each speech or per each audience. Here I have wrote down some kind of checklist points for you to go through when you do this exercise on your own to make sure you have everything you need with you. If you remember from the first video, we talked about how to build a pitch around your business idea. That would be the first two squares here on the left. So you build those two first, and I recommend you to watch video one if you haven't. And then you create a nice flow using the storytelling canvas. So with this slide, with these three frameworks that I'm just providing here to you, you should be able to build a pitch and deliver in a way that is clear, compelling and easy to understand by your different audiences. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, watch video one about how to build a pitch if you haven't, and stay tuned for video three on tips on how to present online, a skill we all need today more than ever. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.